<laughs> I don't right. know. Oh, uh, so much to talk about, so much to do. So many people on the phone. By the way, I'm getting more and more mail saying, please do not have Eric the actor on anymore. But uh, Really? I know Eric's been on the phone. He was on, the, on hold for four hours yesterday trying to get through it. We had a very busy show. Uh, Gary, what is it Eric wants to talk about again? He shot his television show and he needs to promote it. And I don't believe he's available tomorrow, so I think this might be his last day. Yeah, the way he kind of put it was like, if you don't get to me today or tomorrow, I'm not going to be able to promote my show on Wednesday. So, and that means that means we miss out on him. Funny because his last night yesterday, he was very nice. He said, "Hey, listen, I need today or tomorrow to promote." After John Goodman, tell Howard I'm on hold, which I told you. And then his, it was like a curt note after that: "I'm going to sleep. I'll call back tomorrow." Yeah, he's on fire. He's on fire on Twitter. I could read some more of his Twitter. I'll, here's the commercial for his new TV show. Coming soon, he was meaner than the Grinch. Shut the fuck up. He was nastier than Ebenezer Scrooge. You dumb fuck. Get ready for the most ill-mannered villain in holiday history. You rude-ass piece of shit. It's Eric the actor in The Elf Who Wanted to Kill Christmas. Fuck, no, I'm not doing it. He's the ultimate coal in your holiday stocking. No, I'm not. Coming soon. Yeah, whatever. There it is. <laughs> Big announcement. <laughs> you well, now he's already promoted. The elf who wanted to kill Christmas. Congratulations on that, Eric. I think there's a, uh, what is it, Fred, call that a pause? Dramatic pause. Dramatic pause. Dramatic pause. No, I don't pause. think he's there. <laughs> no, he's there. Is he? Oh. oh. <laughs> I told you, you're right, it was. I didn't realize you actually buzzed me in. Yeah. I didn't hear the little sound that I usually hear. You know, uh, there's so much going on in the world of Eric that I, I feel like I need to update you. The, the, I'm, I'm consumed with Eric's Twitter feed. Uh, it's this angry kind of fighting with people back and forth. and <laughs> This is why I don't understand people screaming they don't want Eric. His Twitter feed has given him new life. Yeah, I mean, if you... Can we first cover? No, let me update people. Let me, let me, let me, uh. We're running a show here. Let me, let me update people. We gotta get people interested in you before we talk to you. Right, yeah, like, like people so want to tune out when they hear your voice, I've gotta get them excited about you. That's what I'm up to right now. So Eric's tweets are like, Insane, and we've read them before. They're just on fire, and he he responds to anyone who says anything. Like like, here's one: dipshit. Um, was born in 1975. JFK was killed in 1963. Plus, dumb fuck, I have never ever been to Dallas, so fuck off. <laughs> That's Eric defending himself that he was accused on Twitter of killing John F. Kennedy. He didn't do it. Eric, what is that? How would you respond to that? I mean, people know you're not. The guy who killed JFK. I know, but I was just sick of stupid bullshit like that. Yeah, but no one believes you killed JFK. I'm saying it's not even worth a response. Like someone wrote him that he that that Eric is bipolar and that he's going to pull his cock out on the set of Legit, this TV show he's going to be on. <laughs> and he writes, "I am not fucking bipolar, and I have no fucking plans of pulling my cock out on the set of Legit." <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. Someone wrote him and said, and what's fascinating about this is that Eric even bothers with the response because he really thinks that people are going to believe it. Someone wrote him and said that he was born the same year as his parents, which is, <laughs> Eric, that, why would you respond to that one? I don't know. Listen to this. Dipshit, I was not fucking born the same year as my parents. I read this stuff. I go out of my mind. Get it through your fucking empty head. I was not on fucking different strokes playing the role of Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> I did not play Kathy or any other female roles in my life on any show. Get that through your brainless head now. Listen to this one. Someone must have said he lied to the IRS. I have not fucking lied to the IRS, and I am not a damn she <laughs> A lot of stuff where they go, Eric, you're gay. And then he goes, I'm not a homosexual. Fuck off now. 
And this one, someone must have accused him of having hair transplants. Shut the fuck up, you pathetic dipshit. I have not had any fucking hair transplants. <laughs> My brain cells are fine. I am not a liar. I am not fake. And I am not a damn scumbag. Fuck off now. No, there it is. Then someone, I guess it started a big Twitter feud for Eric. Someone wrote Eric and said that he he played the role of the feet stuck under the house in The Wizard of Oz. Remember when the house lands on the witch? Right, yeah. And he wasn't the witch, but he was the witch's feet. And that set him off. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Eric, you must now, get, a, get a hobby or something. So, uh, now, I know, I know for sure I did not read that book. Mm -hmm. See that tweet. Well, at least he didn't respond to that. So then, um, then I guess somebody accused. Then over the weekend, Eric got in touch with Gary, I believe. Was it you, Gary, when Eric was concerned that people thought he was dead? No, surely. Oh, surely. Okay. So Eric gets a hold of Shuli and says, Shuli, I need you to tweet out that I did not die. And, and Shuli's like, well, I don't know that I... I'm not, I'm not like your personal Twitter representative. <laughs> Somebody must have written Eric that he died. Right. Was that it, Eric? Well, people were posting that all over the Internet, and it, I'm pretty sure it was because of the fact that from Wednesday to Saturday, I didn't have any activity at all on Twitter. Twitter, so they thought that I died. Don't you think maybe you just didn't have any activity on Twitter because no one was thinking about you? Because I don't think anyone knew you, you know, supposedly died. No. Anything. And if you died, what? don't you think there would be tons of Twitter activity about you? Ha Howard, what I meant by that was I myself was not tweaking from Wednesday to Saturday. So oh. they. Oh, I see. The they would think you were dead, though. They thought you died. So then Eric right. decided to, he calls, he calls Shuli and says, I've, I've made a video to prove I'm not dead. And, and <laughs> Shuli was supposed to tweet out the link. Right. So here's the first video he makes. I am Eric the Actor on Twitter. I'm Eric the Actor 11. I'm not dead. It is December 7th, 2013. And it is after 1 p.m. West Coast time. And so people saw this video, and then they start busting his balls, and they go, well, hey, that doesn't prove you're not dead. You could have made that <laughs> sooner. So then he makes a second video where he has some game playing behind him, which would prove that he's alive because the game is playing behind him. Hey, Shuli, you out there? I know Shuli was going nuts from this. What happened? When did he contact you? So, sat, my wife and kid are out of town. I got the weekend to myself. Finally. Finally. Right, right. Saturday afternoon, I get a text from him. I need you to tweet this. Right. With the hashtag, Eric the Actor is not dead. Right. So I said, fuck it. You know, I tweet it out for him. <laughs> next thing you know, the next 25 to 30 minutes, my phone is blowing up. Like Everybody on Twitter is responding to me, telling me I'm full of shit, this and that. Right. He's really dead. And he's gone. He's not texting me back. Right. Now, now it's my problem. Right. So now I said, you know what? This little fucker ruins my Saturday. Now I'm going to ruin his Saturday. Right. So I said to him, listen, you need, the, the one thing I wanted in my head was was a hostage photo of him with a newspaper with the date next to right, it. That's right. what I wanted. And so I said, you need to take a picture with the date, something with the date. That was the first video. And then he says, well, first he says, I can't do that. I'm in my boxers and T-shirt. Right. And I said, well, get dressed. Yeah. I said, my, everybody's freaking out. They all want to know that you're alive. I said, help me out. Right. So he sent me a picture with him holding up a piece of paper with the date on it right. and his name. And then I told him, listen, they're not buying it. Right. I said, you got to, you know, try, take a picture with a pet. Me and JD were just thinking of different things for him to take pictures with. Right. <laughs> and he said, you're going, what the hell does a pet prove that I'm alive or dead? Right. He's right. <laughs> and all day we're back and forth and shit. Now, people, as soon as he puts something up, this is Photoshop, this is bullshit, and this is CGI. Into, right. And he doesn't stop. He doesn't stop. Here's the second video where he has to, get, what game is this? It's a college football game and he's given the score. <laughs> It is Saturday, December the 7th, 2013, just after 2 p.m. here on the West Coast. I am very much alive, Will Noonan, and the other dumb fucks 
like you. Behind me on the TV is the Texas Baylor game in the second quarter, and it is 3-3. Three, three. Wow. So, gripping. Yeah. So all these videos really are from you busting his balls. <laughs> They're just like, I mean, Eric, every three weeks these people jump out and say you're dead. They've done this a million times. Why did it get to him this time? It gets to him every time. Right. Every time. Eric, wouldn't so it be So cool? every weekend he's declared dead. Maybe yeah. it's cool if, you, if people think you're dead. <laughs> I just... You know what I mean? What do you care? Why do you care if people think you're dead? Look at how long because people have thought Abe Vigoda is dead. Right. It's like the Bordic Rise Wolf. When it eventually does happen, no one's going to fucking believe it. And who cares? <laughs> yeah. Oh, they'll believe it. <laughs> and we'll get the word out that you're dead. They believe it every time, apparently. Believe me, we'll be carrying on how we miss you and we love you and everything. Don't worry, you'll get a good send off. Trust me, when you die, <laughs> it'll gonna, be a big deal. It'll be a big deal on this show, anyway. Okay. Right. Right. Did you so read, we did will you read, remember you. Did you read this tweet from a day ago? What where did he say? Says, Bullshit. I do not dig chicks with dicks at all. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, I thought you dug chicks with dicks. No. Oh, you don't? I got confused when I read I, your Twitter. I follow those accounts by fucking mistake. He was following chicks sure. with dicks. Oh, sure. <laughs> it was a mistake now. <laughs> Robin, can I finish? <laughs> what do you do? How do you mistakenly follow chicks with dicks? Well, the picture was taken from really far away, so you couldn't tell it was a cock, baby. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to make the fucking oh. explanation. No, no need to explain. <laughs> hey, you want to follow? Everybody makes that mistake from time Eric, to time. Eric, if you want to follow chicks with dicks, it's cool. Hey, it's your thing. I'm Everybody who that. follows them has made a mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made a mistake one time. I blew one of these guys. <laughs> I thought it was a big clip. I'm not. <laughs> the testicles throw me. <laughs> <laughs> How do you mistakenly follow chicks? That's like these guys who go, oh, I was mistakenly it would be... following child porn. How do you follow Cinnabon and chicks with dicks? Right. That's what I want to know. What are those two But points? how do you follow more than one? Yeah, Eric, that's a good point. As a mistake. Yeah. I, I just do, do not end up reading the profile of what it <laughs> says in the profile. I just... You know what it is? He, he sees tits, follow. and that's it. Oh, he's follows. a tit guy. He yeah. loves huge tits. How many people does yeah, he but follow? Yeah, and he doesn't care if they're on a guy. No. Apparently not. No. Hey, it was hot. <laughs> yes, I do. How many, uh, how many people does he follow? Because it sounds like he follows everyone. I will, I will submit myself to a fucking light detector to prove that I don't okay. dick. Can we ask you about JFK, too, when you're on the light detector? He follows 5,445 people. Well, what else is he going to do? I know, but I mean, that's like too many. I mean, how do you follow 5,000 people? I mean, it's crazy. Like, maybe you ought to go through that list today and give you something to do and go through that list and, like, kind of filter out guys with cocks. How many, how many guys with cocks were you following at one point? 300. <laughs> um, do you realize what you're saying? Do you what? Mean uh, chicks with, with dicks. Cops. How many chicks with dicks were you following at that one sounds point? sounds much better. I was following two at the best of my knowledge. I'm going to set them off. Two. Hey, I heard you spent time in a Turkish prison. Is that true? No. No. For the chicks. For the dick. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you say gets upset about. I heard you're a vegan. I heard you went to the Congo... And uh, got a leg injury when a bear bit you. <laughs> I already wrote a cookbook. I heard that you lost a toe because of frostbite. Is that true, Eric? No. Did you get caught in a, between a rock when you were mountain climbing and have to cut off your arm? <laughs> no, I am both. I heard that, too. I caused the car crash that Paul Walker died in. <laughs> I heard you caused the eclipse in 2006. <laughs> <That's> true. <laughs> Is that true? Yes. No. <laughs> Have you ever? Did you derail the train out I here? Did. I heard you were hey, responsible. You know what, you know what I, I heard? 
Yeah, did you derail you were the with train? James Gandolfini when he died, weren't you? Hey, Eric. In all seriousness, no. one of the things I one of the things I read about you on Twitter was that that yeah. um, you're now. I'm, I'm asking this for real now. You're related to Hitler. Mm-mm. Yeah, I heard, I heard that. You too. heard that? Too? Yeah. Could you clear that up? No, I'm not. Well, it says here you're related to Hitler. In a weird way. It says you're one eighth Hitler. Oh, that's bullshit. Hmm. That's not a strong argument, Eric. Why do you follow Vainy Tits One on uh, <laughs> Twitter? Can I do? Yeah, you follow Vainy Tits One and Puffy Nips. <laughs> what does Vainy Tits One? What does Vainy Tits One tweet Vainy throughout the day? Tits. Vainy Tits One and Puffy Nips. At Vainy Tits One and at Puffy. I'm looking at the list now, and it's like crazy. Would you follow somebody who called themselves Vainy Tit? <laughs> no. Like, that's not a good name. And then it's pictures of Vainy Tits. Like, well, that's what I'm saying. That's terrible. Tits Eric, are way what, too Seriously, big. why do you follow pictures of Vainy Tits? Because <clears throat> they're big, <laughs> rested women. And veiny. Would you like big, veiny tits? I like big breasts. Hmm. What is it about general. what what is it about big breasts that you like so much, Eric? Hey, why they're is a it? whole they're breasts? a whole hell of a lot better to look at than a, a what is between the legs of a guy. <laughs> well, you would know. Why are you thinking about the legs of what's between <laughs> the legs of a guy? Hey, Eric, at why does it, them. why does it say on your Twitter feed? <laughs> That you performed a back alley abortion. I heard that. Is that true? No. Hmm. Why, why do does you, it say that? Why do you follow at Chubby Finder? <laughs> oh, boy. Are you into fat chicks? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, this is what I love about him. There's no denying Yeah, look at his big, oh. look at the big tits on this veiny tits thing. There's nothing hot about that. <laughs> no, the big udders. <laughs> It's like a cow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Freckles all over him. Uh, is this from Big Nips or uh, from uh, Veiny Tits? Because it seems to be both. <laughs> puffy Nips. Puffy Nips. Who follows Puffy Nips? Like, why would you even want that? Because like, other people can that read what like you That sounds like a yeah. condition. You can look and see what anybody's following. That's the weird thing. Like, why do you follow Puffy Nips when people are going to know? This guy's, you know, he's DMing, you know, celebrities. He's sending message to celebrities asking for parts on well, their yeah, show. Well, he's trying to, like, you know, fuck girls, but they they look at who he follows and his puffy nips. Yeah, Eric, you should have, like, a puffy nips Twitter account and then a networking Twitter Isn't there account. a way to secretly look at puffy nips without actually following them? Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, just Google it. I'm well, sure there's a website. A, you can make a list with just, like, secret things that you like to look at that you're embarrassed about. Right. Like, you don't have to have it on Twitter. Right. <laughs> you don't have to follow him. Right. It updates every day. You know, Eric? Well, <clears throat> it depends on how their account is set up. Some people, you have to end up following them to be able to see what they tweet. And others, you don't. Why do you follow Orida Potatoes? <laughs> like what's that about? Because they look like painty tits. <laughs> I mean, why? why that, 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 <laughs> you're the only person following. Why do you follow Orida potatoes? Because I like to eat French fries and tater tots and the products that they make. Mm-hmm. But why do you follow them? What is what is yeah. the purpose of following them? Like I'm, I understand veiny tits. Yeah, I'm telling you, if, <laughs> like just because you like to eat tater tots, following a ride of potatoes, how is that going to benefit you? Well, I mean, do they put out tweets of like new products or new things that they're doing, Eric? Is that why you follow them? Yeah, yeah. Eric kind of yeah. Eric yeah. kind of looks like a tater tot. <laughs> a little mini. And I'm not tot. I'd like to play a tater tot. On TV. I wish they make tater tits. <laughs> tater, they maybe thought it was tater tits. That's what it was. <laughs> it's a typo. <laughs> they need tater tits. I search tater tits. Uh, uh, crazy. 
I like that the Idaho people are, they must be proud that the guy who's followed him also follow, follows Puffy Nips. How many people <laughs> have the thought to follow a ride of potatoes? Like, okay, like I like potatoes. I eat a baked potato every day, but I wouldn't think to follow a ride of potatoes. Yeah, whenever I see those prompts to, to follow them on Twitter, I'm like, why? Why would yes. I do that? Do you actually get prompts to follow a ride of potatoes? Well, if you go on a website and you see mm -hmm. something... And then they say, follow us on Twitter. No, I'm like, no, I'm not following you on Twitter. I have to believe Eric's the only person in the United States following a ride of potatoes. Well, you know, when you follow somebody, it'll give you similarities to who they're following. Listen to this. A ride of potatoes only has 117 followers. <laughs> and, like, Eric's one of them. I'm one of the elite few. I'm an Navy <laughs> SEAL. I'm like the Illuminati. <laughs> Potato Illuminati. <laughs> uh, 117 followers for that company. How do you even stumble on you know, that? You know, like, out of that 117, it's at least 100 employees of following course. you because they want to just get employee updates. And the other 16 are family. Yeah, right. And, right. and, and then there's Eric. <laughs> and then there's Eric. Like, Eric's the only fucking person following you. He's around. the only outsider. He does think outside the box. It, it was this. It gets, you know, when I've followed another channel, I don't remember. you got to be more one. discriminating, though. Makes you look like you'd follow anyone. You're like a Twitter whore. Well, that's the just the point, Eric. When somebody suggests that you follow or ride a potatoes, it means you've done something wrong. Right. What's funny is he blocks everyone and then follows everyone. Right. <laughs> I love his tweets. Ah. Let's see. That's Venom. Uh, let's see. Now, and it's, it's like I finally start talking. <laughs> Hold on. Legit. One minute, or <laughs> well, we, We're not done with you yet. Yeah. All right. No, let, let him do his thing. All right. You're on a TV show called Legit, right? Where is that? It was down in Southern California. Yeah, and w where do yeah. we see it? I mean, like what channel? It's on FXX, oh. Howard. And FXX, it's, and it's uh, right. it's com comedian Jim Jeffries, Australian guy, real funny guy. It's a good show. And what does Eric do on Legit? What's your part? I play a bookie that's at a uh, cockfight. <laughs> You're a bookie at a cockfight? Well, he sets up cockfights. Like, oh. Jim came up with a really funny part for him, and supposedly he steals the show in this episode, and they're even talking about maybe making this a reoccurring character. Wow. Recurring character. Yeah. Wow. Eric. Ooh. FXX. There's an Did FX. you enjoy it, Eric? That's like FX with an yeah. X. Yeah, it's like yeah. FX2. How many fucking channels can Rupert Murdoch own? I mean, Jesus Christ. FXX. He's now inventing new ones. I mean, they got to find more space for him. Yeah, what about a channel for me before you give this guy 15 <laughs> billion channels? Good Lord. FXX. I mean, is it going to be an FXXXXXX? I mean, what is uh, yes. that? Yes. Yeah. Those are all in the planning <laughs> stage. Wow. Jeez, that guy is unfucking. That guy, you know, like, I, if I was in my 80s, I'd be like, fuck you. I'm not making another channel. I don't even care about another channel. This guy's so driven. He just but loves But isn't the game. that why he's. A vibrant 80s instead of a... I don't know, man. I hope... You know, I, he's still getting married again and stuff. I hope I come to my senses in my 80s and just sit in my fucking house. Just follow big veiny tits Is on Twitter. Is that coming to your senses? <laughs> yeah, that's coming to my You'll senses. You'll be following or hide a potato. <laughs> if I'm still hungry for, like, you know, fame and fucking uh, career, there's something wrong with me. Hey, yeah, there's got to be a stop at some point. Yeah, right? like stop and smell uh, the fucking uh, No, roses. there's... There's two things in life, having passions or being dead. Oh, I have passions. And still living. I have passions, but they can take place in my house. <laughs> you still have to get up at 4 a.m. Yeah, to yeah, live please. your passion. Rupert Murdoch wakes up, what can I buy? <laughs> I'll make, I'll make, I got an idea. I need a new channel. FX. X, X. <laughs> I've got it. Jesus Christ. When are they going to... Gary, did I tell you about this wire yesterday? I just saw that thing move. Oh, my God. Gary, did we not have a conversation about this? What happened? You said you're doing a magic huh? trick. That cup I, I, just tipped I, I, over. I, I, over I, I, I told Gary there are wires underneath the console that are ripping out as I'm talking. Oh, no. And I said, I need this addressed as soon as I get off the air. Gary. Gary, what happened? <laughs> 
Gary. Holy fucking, he's so on fire, Gary. <laughs> Gary. And you didn't write it down. That's didn't it. you didn't write it down. Gary, you where never are carry you? a pad. No, no, it's, it, was, it was right there. What happened was the reason Gary. why I didn't write it down is because what? Evan had sent me a note saying that he noticed that he was going to fix it after the show. Gary, See, I can show you the note, Howard. Gary, please. I know, I got it. I got it. Please. Gary, I'm going to tell you something. Gary. I love you, and I'm, I don't mean this as an embarrassment to you. And I'll say it quickly. Gary, you should have a pad, a legal size pad. I do, but I could. I, 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 it's Howard. You write it down, and at the end of the day, you go. It's not a, done, Howard. It's not a matter of writing right. it down because I really thought yeah. Evan had it because he had sent me the note. Otherwise, I would have written it down. Look at this. Gary, fucking... he's not listening to the second part of what you're saying. What's coming Robin, out of the Robin, I would have written it down. I don't need to carry a pad. I always have do. stuff with. Me. I always have something to write on with me, right. and I would have I written it down. You didn't hear the part where Howard said, "At the end of the day, you would have looked at the pad and said, but did I this get this done?'" done? Gary. Okay. That's how you work. It's called a waiting for list. <laughs> Gary! I don't want to embarrass him, but Jesus Let's Christ. Go. Well, I didn't. Gary! What am I supposed to do? I'm ripping apart the fucking console with my feet. <laughs> I fucking told him yesterday. <laughs> and I see he doesn't write it down. It drives me crazy. And I go, well, I, I don't want to embarrass him, so I won't say anything. I guess he retains it. He's on fire. He's got too much going on. He's got the birthday show. He's got so much going on. <clears throat> right. But, you know, he has to make sure things get done. Well, he and, should walk you know, he likes somebody. to delegate, and then it's the other person's problem. Well, he doesn't go to check to see if it was completed. No, no that's the part that's missing from his uh, executive skills. But he gets mad at me when I point that out. Gary. <laughs> See, I have lists. If I tell Gary to do something, you think I rely on Gary to do it. What I do is it goes, in waiting for it, says, I'm waiting to hear back from Gary on this. If I don't hear back in a day, I go, Gary, what happened? Right. You yeah. can refer to it again. Yeah. I'm so organized. Once you ask for it. Oh, you once know I it. ask for it. I, I'm not going to, what do you think? I, I ask Gary for 50 things a day, so I just write them down. But Gary loves to delegate. Yeah. That's that's the name Delebate. I think that's the No, but he didn't even get to the delegate. He didn't get to the delegate. Really, really, how would you know what I like to do? When do I see you? How would you oh, my God. You Gary, know, we're just having fun here. You know nothing about my life. You're not even here. You don't fucking know a thing about me. Gary! We're just having fun. D t stop listening. It's a fun at your expense. Gary. I got a couple of fun ideas. <laughs> Just write it down. Well, they haven't come up now, Gary. Gary's on fire. Sometimes he just interrupts me when I'm talking. Like, Gary! He just wants to move on to the next thing. <laughs> <laughs> right, I, I don't want to pick on Gary. Leave him right. alone. Gary. Just if someone could fix this wire, because I'm ripping the... I'm <laughs> actually going to take us off. Gary, please, I'm not talking to you. No, it will be fixed. It was fixed. Thank you. It was fixed yesterday, and it's down again. No, it wasn't. It was not fixed yesterday. No, I guess Kevin. It was not fixed yesterday. There's no fucking way it was fixed. It was like this this morning when I walked in. It wasn't fixed yesterday. Oh, the show always gets ruined with stuff. Organizational stuff. Are there just loose wires under there? Or is there something yeah. covering the wire? Well, I've had this before. You can't have wires just hanging on the floor. I, my feet... I they get caught in them, and I pull. Yesterday, when I was interviewing John Goodman, uh -huh. in the middle of the interview, did you see the what is that? A clock or some shit? It's like it's I, I don't. It's a cup with something on it. I, I think yeah. a camera. It's got well, a camera. Well, my foot on. gets caught on the wire, and the whole thing goes flying. Off, like <laughs> it looked like a, a trip wire in a jungle. Like yeah. all of a sudden, the cup moved. What is that thing? I think it's a camera. Oh yeah, yeah. It's all. Look at it. Look, it's, it's, a, it's, it's taped a to a cup. It's, <laughs> it's a camera taped to a cup. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that is. <laughs> what a radio show. <laughs> it's like a camera. It's like I MacGyver got, built yeah, a yeah. camera. I got a camera taped to a cup, so like I'm sitting here and I'm going, <laughs> I'm talking to John Goodman. It's like, wait, wait. I, go, I thought they were ghosts in the studio. Yeah, I go like this. I go, look. I'm like, oh yeah. And, and I'm talking about him. I'm interviewing about Roseanne. I think all of a sudden you see this fucking, <laughs> you see this fucking camera. Camera moving. It's like poltergeist. Yeah. I'm going, hey, John, I have superpowers. Watch. And I made the cup move. Oh, my God.
is a cup with we don't have a stand for the camera so we balance it on a cup <laughs> and then when i my feet hit the wire the whole thing comes tumbling down it's like something eric has set up in his, yeah, his eric, room eric's got better equipment <laughs> so why did you call in for two days because you want to know what that everyone that the legit is going to air is that it and that he's alive and that he's alive okay thanks eric i gotta go we've run out of time <laughs> Eric, and you did a bunch of bullshit instead of let me finish. What? This is big closer. Alan. All right, go ahead, close it up. Besides me being in the episode, of Johnny, Johnny Junior, <laughs> Johnny Junior's girlfriend, and Jan also made it in the episode. All right, thank you, Eric. Oh, God. God. Please, Great. Eric. We can't wait to watch it. All right, take it easy, Eric. Jim, Jim Jeffrey said Johnny Frado's part. They wanted him to play a hitman. He said when he saw Frado, he thought, "This is awesome. We don't need any makeup or anything. Right, no, no wardrobe." No, he sort of looks that way. Johnny's now legitimate. <laughs> By the way, Johnny is legitimate. His father was in the mom, not him. Right, right. Let's make that clear. Because Johnny walks around in tracksuits all day. Right, doesn't mean doesn't mean anything. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Can I actually, can I actually also say that I was kind of on? Two different shows while it's down in LA. I gotta go. All right, Eric. Thank you. This promotion of yours is killing your whole career. Yeah, I gotta go. (sighs) (laughs) (laughs) The other show that is part of the show would like to be a guest on your show. Who's that? The guest? The the show called Freak Show on AMC. Eric. I'd rather have, the, I'd rather have the person from Veiny Tits One on than than whatever you're talking about. Eric announcing that the people from Freak Show contact with him. Yeah, and they want to be on my show. Uh, not a surprise. The yeah. chicks with dicks would like to sit in. I'd rather have at the, the chicks end of the with show. All right, Eric. Thanks. I appreciate. It. Good luck with uh, your show. All right, the episodes start airing in January. Oh, wow. (laughs) Thanks for squeezing that in. Glad we got to it quickly. Never too early. All right. right. (laughs) Thanks. On FXX. All right. Thanks, Eric. Uh Right. Uh (laughs) (laughs) All right. That's Eric, the actor, who was on. The most concise statement he made today. Yeah. Since I won't be talking to you until after your vacation, have a very happy holidays. I'm on next week. Where's he going? <laughs> yeah, why are you He's unavailable? He's going away. Where, where are you going? Where are you going? He's been dying to tell me. He kept calling, getting the strap into his ski. I'm going to ski with Bodie Miller. <laughs> he keeps calling, saying, there's no way I'm available after Tuesday, so you have to get me on. Well, you know what that means. That means there's some big thing going on with him. It's his yeah, family. what's it's going fa- on? He's with his family. That's what it means. What's going on, Eric? I'm going to Vegas. Next week with my family. Ooh. Oh, so are you all good. going to the Bunny Ranch? Are you kidding me? That's up in northern Nevada, not I southern. See. Okay. Are you kidding? He has a double life. When when right. he's away from his family, he's a part of this show. When he's right. with his family, he has absolutely no ties to this show whatsoever. <laughs> Eric, what are you going to do? Like, are you, are you even going to bring up the fact that you're on our show because they don't like it? No, I mean. I just going to Vegas and spending time with my family at the hotel. And do they the like city. that you um, get on these TV shows? Shows? Do they watch you when you're on legit? Yeah, they've seen every one of my TV appearances. They should love Howard. No. That's right. If they like that, then they should love Howard. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you? Why doesn't your family love me? I mean, I'm the one getting you all these roles. You've gotten them laid. You've gotten them parts no. in in TV. I kind of resent Eric's family not liking me. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's a little bullshit <laughs> on their part. It's a lot of bullshit. I'm angry. Eric, it's all the bullshit that I've had to put up with on this show. All the like what? Ribbing, ribbing, and the <laughs> fact that you referred to me as a midget, which by no, the way, no, he's not doing that. The people at Freak Show said that 
that's a word that's not uh, acceptable. And they have a little. I heard in Vegas. You, I heard in Vegas your family straps you to a roulette wheel, and oh. and makes and makes you uh, <laughs> like makes you the ball on the roulette wheel. Is that true? It says it on Twitter. No. All right. Because no. I just read that on Twitter right now. No more bets. <laughs> no more bets. <laughs> I hope you love me more than you love your own family, because I've done more for you than they have. Well, aren't you full of yourself? <laughs> yeah, I am. I've been nicer to you than anybody on this planet. And I hope you tell your family that, my friend. Yeah, you should defend Howard. What are you doing hiding him? Like he's, yeah. you know, some girl from across the tracks. Yeah, exactly. Believe me, I'm your real father. Should hide veiny tits, mm. not Howard. Right. Howard, you should right. be proud yeah. of Howard. I guess tots. they don't like veiny, <laughs> veiny tits either. Right. Probably doesn't even follow me. Can I ask Eric a quick question? If you're going to Vegas next week, how come you're not available tomorrow? Because I have a dental cleaning. A whole day is going to be the dental cleaning? <laughs> it's a three-hour time well, difference, so you're not getting a dental cleaning at four in the morning, are you? No, but I don't want to go to the dental cleaning with a lack of sleep. Why? <laughs> what is it like? What is it that you need to give them at the cleaning that you yeah. can't sleep through? <laughs> I'd like to keep my mouth open, but I'm too tired. Oh. I don't know, anyway, what, it doesn't make sense. It's just... I would like to go to the dental queen completely rested. Right. I bet you he likes the dental assistant. Eric's a lot like my mom. Like she does one thing a day, and she likes to be like my mom's. Like I have to get my rest. I'm going to the doctor, and I'm like, well, what's you know? I mean, why do you need more rest? Yeah, well, you know, it's very stressful. I'm telling you, he likes the dental assistant, and he likes to be awake for her. He wants to look his best. Yeah. Probably is at perfect tit level. It <laughs> says on uh, it says on Twitter that Howard Stern is your real father, Eric, and that I had sex with a tater tot, and that's how you were born. <laughs> is that true? No, it's not. All right, to all people listening on Twitter, that is not true. I'm just well, trying to save you time. In all fairness, Howard, we won't know 100 percent until we hook him up to a lie detector. Right. Where you will take a lie detector to prove that I'm not your real father and that I had sex with a tater tot. Yes. All right. Good. And chicks with dicks, you're willing to... Are you willing to take a lie detector to prove that you're not into chicks with dicks? At all. Yes. All right. <laughs> oh, just went off. All right, Eric, I got to go. Good talking to you. And, and have a nice time with family in Vegas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. All right. There you go. Bye. Unlike, unlike you, I'll be Bye. hearing from him all day. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know he, he's our... I can't even hang up on it. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, we we'll fucking hang up. There, okay. Um, his whole life is our show. Yeah. You know, and like, he's calling you all weekend. And then when he gets around his family, he's like, hey, fuck Howard Stern, you know? Oh, if I, I need, don't if I need something from him yeah. and he's around his family, I'm mm -hmm. an asshole for even reaching out to him. Right. You know I'm is with that my right? family. Right. Oh. Oh, yeah. What does yeah. he have? Does he have brothers and sisters? Yeah. Yeah. Are yeah. they normal size? His yeah, brother's a firefighter. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, jeez, that's a bitch. Man, you know, it's like I would be so upset if like my brothers and sisters all had normal height and I was the one who like got all fucked up. Just sucks. Yeah, but what can you do about it? Well, you can be a bitter, angry little guy, <laughs> right? <laughs> and it must be hard for his brother too, because his brother's like, like, why was I spared that? And like, well, and he must feel like guilty, like in a way, like, oh my, my brother suffers, and I've got to. Yeah, I don't see that. He's a firefighter. He's probably getting laid left and right. Yeah, but I'm just saying, I mean, he's got to be some sort of emotional guilt there, too. Like, oh, man, why me and not him? And this whole America. But it isn't his fault. Right. Why should there it's, be emotional it's not guilt? A, it's not a question of fault. It's what people live with. They see their brother suffering, and they're like, wow. It's like Elvis. His his twin brother died in utero, but Elvis always felt like, oh, man, like, why did I survive and my twin brother didn't? First of all, his parents shouldn't have even told him he was a twin. Yeah, I mean, you're basing your your theories about all people on a real nutcase. <laughs> no, I'm basing my theories on real re real psychiatry that people walk around with all kinds of guilt. Not, not people, rational. some people. Uh, 
If nothing, not everyone. One hundred percent. The point is that it's got to be very difficult on the family dynamic to have Eric that way, and then you have a healthy brother who's got to walk around, you know, feeling like, oh wow, you know, I've got everything my brother doesn't. What about the parents? And shouldn't they bear the guilt? Of course, they, they, they. It's not guilt. They just bear this horrible. Thing. Like, wow, you know, gee, did did we do something wrong? Was it, you know, did we smoke some weed? Did we, you know, it, it, it's it's not rational. It's just you walk around feeling guilty. But how long well, can you go around feeling like rational? That, you know? Yeah. What? Like how long can you go around feeling like that? You At go some point, your whole life, if you don't work it out, no one deserves the guilt. It's just you feel it. It's just there. It's there. Uh, and lots of people do work through it. Maybe his family has. What are you so angry about this morning? <laughs> because I, you, you know, angry. I hate the generalizations that this Stop is it. it. He must be feeling. Well, uh, he could be, <laughs> and he is. Believe me, I know everything. <laughs> believe me, I'm right. Yeah, it's just the dynamic of life. Hey, by the way, NBC says NBC television.